Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? Go faster and faster. Yeah, I've seen people do this before. But you've never done this before? Uh-uh, no. Michael, when did you grow up? The 90s. We're like The 1790s. Close. <laughs> Hand clapping hadn't been invented yet. You know, Can Robert, you tell us Robert Clapp, the history? <laughs> Robert Clapp, one day he was like, that was amazing. And everyone was like, do that again. And he was like. Are you serious right now? I'm totally serious. This is the actual history. Yeah, I tell the truth at all times. <laughs> I 80% believed Michael until I realized Michael Stevenson grew up in the 1790s. Can't fool me. But that's not why you're here. You're here because you want to see me challenge our guest to some physics, puzzles, and riddles. And I better introduce him because you might not know who he is, despite the fact that he has his channel name across his chest and because he has the most viewed science YouTube channel on the platform. So better get to it. Hey, I'm Diana, you're watching Physics Girl. I am here at the Vsauce warehouse with Michael Stevens, the host of Vsauce. You agreed to be asked some puzzles and riddles, logic, physics, that kind of stuff. I didn't just agree, I insisted. You did! I love puzzles because I'm not that great at them, but afterwards I always feel like a better person because I've learned something. Should we get to it? Let's do it. We're gonna start with some warm-ups. <laughs> I hope the warm-ups are easy because you're calling them warm-ups like <laughs> I'm supposed to just swish them but in. But they're still riddles and they're still puzzles. They're just the ones that are like, you either get the concept or you don't. Okay. Okay. I have a, a ping pong ball, mm -hmm. and I think that I can throw it such that it'll suddenly stop and turn around and come right back at me. How could I do that? How could you do that? You know the drill. Pause the video here if you want to think about it for yourself before we continue on with the answer. So here's the question again. How could I throw a ball so that after a bit it stops, turns around, and comes right back at me? Uh, and it's not bouncing off of anything. Nope, not right, bouncing off right. of anything. Um, I'm assuming it has to do with like the spin of the ball. At some point, it will have slowed down enough that its spin becomes the major component of its motion. That's a good guess. I'm gonna do it uh, such that no matter my technique, no matter my skills, I can always get it to come right ah, back at me. so you just throw it straight up. Yeah. Got it, yeah. <laughs> See, yeah, that's one of those great ones where you're like, oh, we, I think of throwing as being a horizontal action. As being horizontal. Right. The weird thing about this whole situation is that if when you throw a ball straight up in the air, it'll stop instantaneously at the top. But that means that right before and right after, like a millisecond, a microsecond before, and a microsecond after, it'll be moving up and then it'll be moving down. How is it possible that a ball is only stopped for an instant? Such is the nature of continuous motion. Is this one of those situations where I'm like, this is so weird, and everybody else is like, no, it's not. That's just how the world works. Moving on. Next. <laughs> Next one. Michael, you've got a glass of water, and um, over here, imagine that you have an ice cube, and inside the ice cube, it looks normal, because it looks like everything is clear, mm -hmm. but inside of it, it's got a little diamond frozen mm -hmm. in the middle. Hmm. Got it? Great, beautiful. Yeah, and then you drop the ice cube into the glass of water. Now, when the ice cube melts and the diamond falls to the bottom of the glass, because carbon in diamond form is uh, more dense than water, does the water level go down, go up, or stay the same from the level it was at when the ice cube is first placed in there? Very good question. All right, so let's work through this. So, okay. and that's where we're gonna cut because I know you love being on the edge of your seat because it's so good for your brain juice to have to wait just one more day to think about the answer to the riddle until you get a video with the answer and maybe a bonus riddle if you guys leave enough comments with your guesses for the answer to this riddle. Or in the meantime, here are three other things I'd love to hear from you. Number one, I'd love to hear comments about your favorite other physics riddles or puzzles. Number two, I'd love to hear your everyday mysteries for the Everyday Mystery series using the hashtag Everyday Mysteries in the comments. And number three, if you have them, tweet me your photos of the Physics Girl t-shirt. I haven't gotten any photos from any ladies yet, but thanks to these physics-y gentlemen for sending me their photos. And that's it. Happy physics -ing.